Let us understand strategies to estimate the radical values. If Nirvan can do it, you can also do it. Thanks for joining. Hi, Nirvan. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Very good. So, Nirvan, today we will learn how do we estimate to one decimal place value of any radical, a square root. Tell me something about yourself for our viewers. My name is Nirvan. I'm a grade 5 student. And from the last summer, summer 2023, I've been studying with him different math concepts. And you've come a wrong way, long way. Very good. Excellent job done, Nirvan. Let's begin with the concept of estimating values for radicals, right? So let me share with you a whiteboard and then we'll estimate the values. Now here, let's say, let's do the exact perfect squares first. What is square root of 9 equal to? 3. 3. And what is square root of 16 equals to? 4. 4. If I have a number in between them, then in that case, how will you estimate? This is what we are going to learn, right? So if I have a number, let us say in between as 13 square root, then what should square root of 13 be equal to? It has to be somewhere between 3 and 4, right? Yeah. So that is what the estimate is. So what you will do is that you will see, well, 13 is 3 away from 16 and 4 more than 9, correct? Yeah. So it should be slightly more than 3.5. It is not exactly at the center, slightly away. So we could mm -hmm. estimate this as 3.6. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Now, let us say, if I have to estimate the value of, let's say, square root of 30. So how will you do it? Tell me. So I know the square root of 25 is 5. Okay. Uh, and in between that. And 36 is 6, right? Yep, 36. So 30 is where? I think almost in the center of it, right? Yeah. So try to estimate the answer and then look into our solution. This has to be more than 5, right? So 5.5, you could estimate, right? You get the idea. Almost yeah. in the center, right? So that is how we're going to estimate. So is the concept clear to you? Yes. Perfect. So let's begin with a small exercise. So I'll stop sharing this one and share with you the lesson practice questions. So here we have six questions for you, Nirvan. I'd like you to estimate the values. Let's begin with square root of 20. So what is the value estimated for square root of 20? First, you need to find in between what squares, what perfect squares there are. Okay. So in between that square root of 20, I know from the high side, the square root 25. Yeah. And square root 16. And square root 16, correct. Which is 4 and 5, correct? Yeah. So tell me, what could be the estimated value of square root 20? Okay, so it's 4 more than 16. Mm -hmm. Just imagine 4, yeah, 4 more than 16, 5 more than 25. Mm hmm. I moved in 20, 25. So it can't be over 25. Yeah, yeah. It should be somewhere in the middle. Correct. So how much will you estimate that to? I would just estimate 4.5. Four um, 4 that's good enough. So that's correct. Now, 26 square root. How much will that be? Tell me. Oh, this one's really close to square root 25. So close and just a bit higher. So what will you estimate this as? Try it out. More, right? So very close to 5. So 5.1, right? Oh, yeah. Square root of 47. What will you estimate that as? So the closest square above that is 49. Yeah. So it has to be less than that. Slightly less than that. The other one right? is 36. Yeah. 
So the value should be how much? Estimated value of square root of 47. So two more away till 49. Hmm. Now help us estimate this value. I think you got it. 8 or 9 you can see, right? Yeah. Let's put 8, right. Let's Square root of 90. 90. So the closest from the bottom is 81. And 100. Got it. So it is between 9 and 10. 9 and 10. So how much should you write that for? It's almost in the middle, right? Yes, yes, it is. 9 and 10. But it's not exactly. So almost. You can take that. It was 9.4. 9.5 or 9.4, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, slightly closer to 81, as you were saying. So 9.5 or 9.4 can work. 119, what would be a good estimate for that? Mm. So it's going to be 100 square, square root of 100, I mean, mm -hmm. and square root of 121. Correct. So it is between 10 and 11, right? Yeah. So it should be 10 point what? This is what you have to decide. Okay. Ten point. Eight. That's a good estimate, 10.8. Now for 150, how will you do it? I can say, so 13 square 169, I can do that, 169. Yeah. So square 169 mm -hmm. and 144. 12 square is 144, right? Yeah. So it is more than 12, less than 13. So what should be the number? Mm -hmm. So 144 is 12, 12 point five or four. Four is better, right? Yeah. So that is how you're going to estimate these, right? So I hope it makes sense, right? Yes. Correct. So with that, we'll end our class today. I hope you've learned a lot. So I'm stop sharing it. I'd like you to review what you have learned in estimating the value of radicals, especially the square roots. Today we learned how to estimate radicals by figuring out what's the nearest square root to it. Yes. Perfect square. Correct. correct. That's great. Okay, Nirwan, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye for okay. now. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.